AkronHipHop.com, the reporter newspaper online.com. You know what, girl? A lot of people wonder, why do I say that every time I open open up an interview? Do you, you gotta represent yourself, that's girl. What I, that's what I'm saying. You gotta represent yourself. So listen, man, let me ask you a question. You've been doing these videos and reaching out to the community, letting people know what's going on. Tell everybody why it's important that you do what you do and let people know you're doing it. Why it's important is, I number one, I have to, I need to impact a ton of lives, right? Right. So my passion is to serve people, to uh-huh. give back into the community. So that's why I'm, that's why it's important to me for what I'm doing. I like that. Yeah. And then, but you're coming all the way to Akron though. What, how was the connection between, where are you from now? I actually live in Dalton right now. Okay, wherever the hell that is. That's somewhere near Maslin? <laughs> Small town, yep, okay. right by Maslin. So what brings you to Akron though? My husband actually connected me with Levi, Lebester, uh-huh. uh-huh. so that's the way we connected. And I, I love Akron, the heart of Akron. I've learned to know the people. I love the community here. They're hungry people, open-minded people, and that's what I love about this area. So let me ask you a question. So you know I be getting phone calls about you, right? No, I didn't Surprise, know Surprise, I do. I get, what? I get, yeah. A, a lot of the people that I represent, as far as on the media side, they call me instead of calling y'all. Okay. I'll be at a restaurant, somebody and say, hey, twin, how much is a chicken, a, a, a chicken piece, a three piece? I don't know, man. <laughs> if you go to my website, you will wow. see, you know, so they, they ask about you and everything. And one of the biggest questions I got, they say, what is this girl's nationality? Okay. Yeah. Okay. You know, so I guess I'm asking you, what are your nationalities? You just want to say that you're that, that right and exact nationality. I'm, let me put it this way. I'm a mixed up mutt. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so I have got white in me, Spanish in me, and Indian in me. So I'm a little bit of everything. But my dad is white, full white, and my mom would be Spanish, and she also has Indian in her. What about that Amish I heard? Is that real? Amish? <laughs> is that for real? That's in your family? So for real? Mennonite, basically, which is Amish and Mennonite are similar, but it would be Mennonite. Oh, okay. So yeah. you educate me right now. You better say it and don't delay it and everything. <laughs> yeah, I grew up Mennonite. So what's your New Year's resolution, man? Listen, like, let, me, let me say that over. I like to say New Year's resolution. See, resolution, revolution. Means, there we go. resolution means I have an answer for it. I resolved it. Revolution means change. Mm-hmm. So I ask people, what's your New Year's revolution? Revolution. So, okay, that's a good question. I Here's what I, I don't really believe in New Year's resolutions. I mm-hmm. think you should be building up yourself every single day. Of course, it's great to set goals for the new year. So my New Year's, what did you call it? Revolution, revolution your change, right. My revolution is that I come out of 2020 with way better finances, way better health, mm-hmm. way better relationships, and a lot better mentally and spiritually. You better say it. So you spiritual too, huh? Yeah, absolutely. You read the Bible pretty much? Absolutely, I do. You read the King James Version or the NIV Version? I do King James. You King can, James Living Translation is my favorite. I mean, do they talk in that thou art forsaken thou, or is they broken down? They break it down. So they have the King James Version, and then they have, like, footnotes uh-huh. that are broken down in modern-day English. I oh, like okay. So listen, how does your uh, spiritual belief or your religious belief help you uh, in your business? Um, number one, I believe in having faith. Mm-hmm. And I believe that anything is possible with God. So I just lean on that. I have trust, maxi, max amount of, <laughs> maxi, <laughs> maximum amount of faith. I have crazy faith and trust in God. I like that. So listen, it's the um, holiday season. Yes. Uh, I already got your Christmas shout out. You will give people a happy new year shout out before Absolutely, we got here? Absolutely, everybody. Number one, it's Christmas, like he said. Hope everybody had an amazing Christmas, has an amazing Christmas. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, have a fantastic new year. And here's what I'm going to tell you guys for the new year in 2020. If you're not where you want to be, like I said, whether it's mentally, financially, spiritually, really commit to something come this new year, 2020, commit to something. And don't be one of those people that commits for two, two, two weeks to 30 days and stops. Commit to yourself because I promise you're worth it. Have a happy new year. And I appreciate you guys. All right. Have some fun and get something done. Let's do it. Let go.